here we see a galaxy. A galaxy that is very far from other galaxies that might be in a cluster or something else. Well, you might be thinking, what makes this specific galaxy special? There's not like, there's not like anything special about it. It's just like one of those whirlpool galaxy things. Well, you'll be mistaken because it's not what you see on the outside. It's what you see within the galaxy. Hey, Earth, um, do we move in space? What the heck, Moon? You don't know what you've been doing this entire time? Are you such an idiot? You know what? Be calm, Earth. Okay, so yes, we do move in space, actually. Okay, let's first start that we move by ourselves. Our planetary bodies do. So basically, we move on our axis. We actually spin around our axis. We don't, um, like... Ignore the axis. So we revolve around the sun. Well, you revolve around me, but this is called an orbit. And also, this is what creates my seasons. Thank you, Art. Thank you for the information that I already knew. <gasps> Wait, what? Yes, do you know why I have faces? Uh, yes, I do. Now, what do you want me to tell you about them? Um, can you tell me what my phases are? Sure. It's not like you pranked me last time. What? Nothing. Now, um, let me tell you what phases are. Okay, so basically, you know how I told you about the, um, me orbiting sun and you orbit me? Yeah. Basically, one half of you is always dark and one half of you is always light. Because the sun is obviously shining on you. And the side that doesn't get the sunlight does not get sunlight. Of course, you orbit me. So that causes phases. And also, this is what it kind of looks like from my point of view. Thank you, Earth. Thank you for the information that I already knew. <gasps> Wait, what? Hey, Earth. Nope. You're asking the sun. It was just to pray. Oh, oh calm, calm down, down there, Mercury. Mercury. You, you don't want your ears, ears to go, go by, by too fast. fast. I'm not Mercury. I'm the moon. Oh, what, what are you doing, doing out here? Dude, you're, you're supposed to be with the Earth. I just came here for a question. Okay, okay go, go right ahead. ahead. Um... What are constellations? Well, constellations are actually groups of stars that make a pattern in Earth's sky. And also, the reason why constellations seem to move in Earth's sky is because Earth revolves around the sun, aka me, and also his axis and stuff. Um, Oberon, Great Bear, and... Small dipper. Thank you, son. Welcome, father. <laughs> Mr. Sun, can you tell me some facts about you? Well, sure. Uh, I'm the closest object to you. No more questions. Um, I'm a star, first of all. Trying to the top 10% of stars my size and stuff. Made mostly of hydrogen gas. Four million Earths can fit inside of me. Two octillion tons of gas. Center of my core is at least 260 billion times the Earth's atmospheric pressure. Also, it is 15 million degrees Celsius. Every second of every day on Earth, the sun covers 700 million tons of hydrogen into... 695 million tons of he of helium. One place that could wipe off electricity on Earth. So basically, I just tell you everything about me, so... GO what? Calm down, Moon. You know you're not supposed to be up here near the sun. Mercury, you... You know what? How about I just blow this over with a question? Um, what are the inner planets of the solar system? Oh, that's easy. That's a very simple question, Moon. Inner planets are me, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Those are the four inner planets of the solar system. Well, oh, it's that simple. 
Yeah, but how about let's just gather every single rocky planet in the solar system and bring them into a group meeting in Earth's orbit. Good idea. Oh, I haven't seen my moon in a while. I wonder where he is. Hey, Earth! Oh my, you're back! I, I, I thought I... I thought that you, um, you thought I died? Yeah. And I see you brought Mercury with you. Hey, Earth, so basically we're trying to get every single planet at least close to your orbit. Why? Because we're having a, um, a, a planetary meeting. So let's go try to find Venus. Wait, I can't... Oh, Pipsqueak, storing up here and near the sun. Partners, I think you should go back to the Earth. Oh, crap. Oh, what is wrong with you? Um, I didn't do this. Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun would never do such a thing. Well, I guess I came here for a question. Okay, I'm gonna tell you everything about me. First, I'm the closest planet to the sun. Therefore, I am pretty hot, but my nights could be pretty cool. Named after the messenger of the gods. And, like, fleet of foot. Pretty quickly around the sun. Only takes me 88 Earth days. I also have phases. 4,900 kilometers across, only a third of the Earth's width, elliptical orbit out of all the planets in the solar system, is only 59 Earth days long, no atmosphere, and now I'm done, so yeah, um, you know what, I think Venus gets a taste of his medicine, so go! <laughs> we totally got them! I escaped! Yeah, um, uh, perfect. Wait, what? <laughs> What kind of idiot are you? Came here with a question. Um, introduce yourself, Venus. Oh, um, okay. Named after the goddess of love. <laughs> Shut up. Third brightest object in Earth's sky after the sun and moon. I undergo phases. If I the Earth, um, I could also, like, kind of do a solar eclipse. Very thick cloud atmosphere. Surface temperature is 460 degrees Celsius. It rains acid on my surface. One day on me is 243 Earth days. I spin backwards on my axis. Day is longer than my full year. I'm also the most spherical out of all the planets. Now go long. Um, can you introduce yourself? But I literally don't even know who you are. Just introduce yourself. Well, I'm named after the goddess of war. I'm only half the size of Earth. The rust on my surface makes me look red. The largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. So nearby, the largest volcano in the solar system is Valles Marineris. I have ice caps on my surface. I have a thin atmosphere. I have two moons named Phobos and Deimos. Seems like I used to have life. My name is Mars. I only need that information. You little- <clears throat> Seriously again, Moon? I'm now stuck alone- Oh, Earth! I'm back! How- You keep leaving me by myself! Oh yeah, but- Oh, I came back for a question. No. Rocks in space besides rocky plants and moons. Oh, okay, except you already know this stuff! Yeah, I do. Wait, what? Nothing! Asteroids and the- Um, they're just- Rocks. The comets are burning hot balls of gas that just shoot through space and orbit the sun. Meteor is kind of complicated, so you have to stay with me on this one. So when some asteroid comes through my atmosphere, it's called a meteor when it starts to burn up. How the meteor gets through my atmosphere, then it lands on me. It's called now a meteorite. Thank you, Art. Thank you for the information that I already knew. <sighs> Wait, what? Watch it! I it could kill you! Um, I guess I came here for a question again? Introduce yourself. Well, first, I'm the largest planet in the solar system. Seven times wider than Earth. Over a thousand Earths can fit inside of me. Day on me is near ten hours long. I have a lot of moons. The four big ones are Ganymede, Europa, Callisto, and Io. The storm, the Great Red Spot, is a giant storm. Well, I'm not a failed star. It would have to take me, like, times 80 my mass to just get me to a round dwarf. I get hit by asteroids way too much. And, oh wait, he's gone. <sighs> what a wonderful day it's gonna be for me. Oh, I got a new moon! Can you introduce yourself? Why, sure, you little cute thing. It's a 
second largest planet in the solar system. This dense planet day is ten and a half hours. Big hexagonal shape on the top of my head. Rings. Bunch of moons. I'm not gonna name their names. That's just about- Oh wait, you're gone. Okay, so... Who else gas planets wanted it? Wait, where's Uranus and Neptune? Oh, uh, here we go. <gasps> oh, there you are, Uranus. I couldn't have found you by myself. What do you want? Tell some facts, and maybe I'm going to tell you some facts back to you. Yeah, fine. I'm visible to the naked eye if you have good eyesight. I'm the closest eyes giant to the sun. I rain diamonds. Spin backwards and on my side. The five big moons. Thin ring system. Now tell me some facts! Well, I'm more massive than you, but you're bigger than me. My wind go up to over 2,000 miles per hour. One big moon. Hey, and now, bye. I hate being a dwarf planet. Oh, too bad, so sad. Oh, you don't have to be so mean. Also, I do know how we are dwarf planets. You don't have to tell me over and over again. Right away, then. So once upon a time, in the asteroid belt, in between Mars and Jupiter, uh, there was a dwarf planet called Ceres. But, um, now, like, a friend of ours, like, that's how he was a planet, and now he's... Well, can you take off that stupid filter? Okay, fine. Hey, Earth. Nope, not again. That was, like, the fourth time. You have pranked me. Oh, what are stars? Ah, oh, fine. I don't want to throw you out the sun again, because you almost died to that. Um, so basically, there's red dwarf stars. They they don't have a short lifespan, because they're really small, and they really don't do anything. Yellow dwarf stars burn at a mid-temperature, and they really... Soon they will blow up, but not much. Blue giant stars are large stars. Some of the largest in the universe, but not the largest type of star. They they lose their fuel pretty quickly, and they don't really get that old. Also, there are red supergiants and blue supergiants that are the largest types of stars in the universe. Also, there's a mythical... Quasi stars, aka the black hole stars, but <laughs> proven yet. So, moon, 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 where are you? I can't be alone again. Uh, moon, three, yes, I need you to answer a question for me, okay. What are galaxies? What, what, why do you need to know everything in the universe? <laughs> galaxy! Galaxy is a cluster of millions of stars held together by gravity. There are spiral galaxies. Uh, our Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. And, um, it has arms, like multiple arms, and that's basically almost it. Elliptical galaxies are elliptical. Irregular galaxies are shapeless. Now, um, can you leave me alone, please, and go back to Earth? Oh!